This is where it gets to the point of the heat sink that I know that this passive ideal of a heat sink is not going to do anything good in Michigan because if you look in here, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's actually a little layer of ice right there. So not much, but ice nonetheless. have been trying to track temperatures of this heat sink that we built you guys know some of this stuff if you watch some of the older videos maybe I'll post a link to the playlist if you're not familiar with it I am trying to test the theory of heat sinks inside of my Michigan greenhouse so far I would say it's not going that great uh, they don't seem to really heat up very much and when we don't have a sunny day the sun is a mess of like today not very sunny outside they don't ever really get warm all right so i ended up picking up a couple of these digital thermometers and they're actually for fish tanks uh you guys kind of recommended that to me when i was talking about how i'd like to keep track of the temperature in here or at least be able to see what it is uh so i found these they were two for ten dollars uh, i'll put a link down below if you're interested in something like this i thought it was a pretty handy little tool uh and cheap for right now for what i'm doing eventually what i want to do is set up a whole computerized system in here uh that i can keep track of and log and kind of check from my house uh inside the comfort of the warm house but that's going to be after we make sure we seal this up and we can actually sort of keep it keep it heated in here or at least always always above freezing uh, i think we'll invest more into having a better system for tr you know tracking temperatures and just keeping track of uh, moisture and all that kind of stuff i'm going to start doing that further in the future but for now i just needed something kind of cheap to get me by these work it's a very simple little device right here you can see this it's got a power button turn it on it's got a selector switch for fahrenheit or celsius for all my canadian and across the pond friends maybe it's time we all adopted the global scale of temperature celsius which by the way wasn't invented by celsius at all so right now it's just testing the air because it's not in the water we got 47 degrees pretty nice in here right uh i've been buttoning it up a lot so i'm very happy that it's at least staying warm in here i think it's about 30 degrees outside today probably a little lower with wind chill and all that but almost 50 in here we'll take it right right guys i should have opened this before i started this huh so the interesting thing about these barrels as i told you guys we live in a town where the pickle factory well i grew up in the town where pickle factories it's like a town over from us right now technically i don't live there but these barrels whenever i get them they always always come from that pickle factory and i didn't clean these out so every time i open it if only this thing had a nose and I could give you smell-o-vision. It smells like pickles. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm not, I'm all right. I like the smell of pickles, uh, but when you grow up and the smell of pickles is literally just everywhere all the time, uh, especially because our high school was like right by it. So we'd have like football games and it'd be like smelling like pickles all the time. <laughs> oh, so. We're gonna drop that probe down into the water. You guys can see, just put it down in there. So for now, I just kind of, I put it in there. I kind of put my lid over it. I didn't push it all the way down. It's still sealed all the way around. 
and right there 35 degrees inside this uh barrel right now just a little above freezing so even though it's warmer outside we're not pulling any of that temp into this barrel probably because there's no sunshine and it's going to take a lot for it to actually get warmer than where it is right now being that it's just a little warmer outside so i'm not 100 percent shooting down the ideal of a heat sink having a benefit in a greenhouse like ours here in the northern you know climate zone michigan we're we're six six a five b type zone so we have a lot of days that are just below freezing and kind of like today where it's overcast not very sunny we're not going to be able to collect in sun and transfer it into these barrels to have enough warmth in here to release at night to do any benefits for the greenhouse so this is where we get into the next step of what we're going to do the ideal next would be to uh, try to heat the greenhouse so i'm going to build a solar air heater uh, and we're going to put it outside the greenhouse i'm going to put it into the greenhouse so that it pumps the air directly into the greenhouse uh, from there if that doesn't help heat these up so that at night they can release a little bit of warmth and just we just got to stay above freezing nothing too crazy we don't have to be in the 50s or anything it's just got to be above freezing for a lot of our cold hardy crop if it doesn't work that way then the other option is that i'm going to try to link these together with a hose and i'm going to try to blow that hot air or warmer air directly over the top of these water barrels now i don't think that's the best setup i think it would be better if we were trying to heat it you know through the cycle of up and down each barrel from the bottom up uh, obviously uh, the way i've already done them i can't do that so i think just trying to put warm air in there is going to be the next thing so in the last video that we did about this, I said something about my friend over at the Pharmacy Seed Network. He does a, well, I think I said that he had a uh, rocket mass stove. This is our steampunk rocket mass heater of science. But he actually has a wood burning stove now, and he stokes that thing all the time. Now, I could ideally do something very similar if I had the time. So part of me trying to figure out how to do all of this is to try to make it as absolutely passive as possible. Uh, hence why I'm gonna try a solar air heater as my next step. Uh, I just can't be here all the time stoking this fire, uh, making sure everything's going and, and staying up and running and hot. I don't have that kind of time in my day. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just not what I have. Uh, and then I get sent out of town uh, that happens, you know, so I'll be gone for a week and, you know, I come back on a Friday and, you know, it's going to be freezing cold in here. Because I don't, uh, I don't expect my wife to come out here and, and stoke this fire while she's also making sure that our three kids are getting all the things that they need. You know, she has a very tough job, especially when I go out of town and she has to do it everything alone on her own so adding more things to her is the kind of where i've always been a pullback and all of the stuff that i do is try to make sure that i'm not adding a lot of extra work to her you know when i leave because that's just not it's not fair it's just really not fair so i really did dream that this passive uh just putting these in here was going to be the uh, solution i kind of had the flags up front about it uh, i just didn't want to believe it at first you know nobody wants to believe it right you see something you're like yeah that's it that's all i gotta do it's simple easy you know uh but these things are probably very very suited to just below you know the the really cold line so you know tennessee carolinas georgia uh those places that deal with maybe a few nights that might get really cold they probably love these uh rain barrel heat sinks they probably absolutely you know do the job and do it very well there here however by themselves they don't do a whole lot so we definitely have to figure out some way to help them uh do what they're supposed to do it's kind of a bummer but also kind of expected so hope you guys join me as i try to work on the solar air heater next i think that's going to be a really cool project i've seen a lot of really cool stuff about it uh, i'm excited to do something like that very excited about that project all right so i gotta go in now kids want to jump on their little trampoline that we bought the other day it's just like a little tiny one but a lot of fun for them <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next video remember be bold grow bold See ya.